So the power chord is the most basic chord in music. I think that that should be the first chord that you learn just because of how easy it is, how simple it is. It's a great stepping stone to understand chords, but you kind of have to understand the triad before you really understand what the power chord is and why it's so simple. So let's look at the major scale, specifically the C major scale. So if you look at the C major scale, the one, three, and five notes make up the major triad. So the C and G is a major triad or a major chord. By adjusting that third scale degree, it's how you change it from like minor to major, diminished, etc. But with the power chord, the third scale degree is taken out completely. So it's just the one and five notes of the major scale. So that's why it's so simple, because it's only two notes. These days, like anything, it can be way more complicated way more complex, but we're just going to talk about the two most basic ways to play the power chord. It's really the only two ways that you need to know. And at the end of the video, I'll actually show you guys a hack to make it even easier to play the power chord, so make sure that you watch all the way through. So the easiest way is just by playing those two notes. So let's look at the C power chord. So if we're going to play it off of the low E string here, we go to the eighth fret. So the first note that you want to play with your first finger is going to be whatever power chord you're playing. So in this circumstance, we're going to be playing the C. So this is the C note here. The next note that you want to play is going to be one string down, two frets over, which is going to be that fifth scale degree. So you can play them like that to where you're just playing the two notes. And you can play that fifth scale degree either with your third finger, the ring finger, or your fourth finger, the pinky. I like to play it with the pinky because that's what James Hetfield does and he was my role model growing up. And it's just a little bit more relaxed, I think. So the second way to play it is to add in an octave of that C note, which is actually just two strings down, two frets over. So right below that second note, you add in that octave of the C. So you can play with the three fingers like I'm playing it right now, or you can just bar those two notes with either your ring finger or your pinky finger. This is the more common way to play the power chord. This is generally what people do, just because it makes it sound a little bit fuller with that octave added on. But if you're an absolute beginner, it might be better just to start with those two notes. You can take this power chord to any fret, any string. It's just whatever note that you're playing with that first finger is what the power chord is. So as promised, an even easier way to play power chords is to tune into a drop tuning. So if you're an E standard, D would be the closest drop tuning that you could tune into. Matching your low E string with the third string down, which is the D note. And that's all you have to change to tune to drop D is this low E string needs to go from the E to the D, which is one full step lower than it is in E standard. And the second easiest way to tune and drop D is by matching the note on the seventh fret of that low E string with the open A. So now that you're tuned to drop D, this note here becomes this note here. So instead of having to use two or three fingers to make that power chord, you only have to use the one and bar it. So that only works off of the low string. So if you go down to this second string, down the A string, you still have to play the power chords like normal. If you guys are new to guitar and you're into playing metal, you guys should subscribe to my weekly newsletter. I'll leave the link down below in the description. 